So finally, hands on with the Android 13 developer preview one available for some of uh, Pixel devices and some of other devices like Redmi Note 5 Pro, Redmi Note 8, Redmi Note 9 Pro. I'm not going to talk about the device specific review in this video, device specific things, but we're just going to talk about the Android 13 developer preview. Let's take a quick look at which are the new things you get here. For example, the quick setting styles. New quick setting tiles are available, one-handed mode, color correction, and scan QR, which is right now in this initial build is not available, but may be available in the future updates soon, future developer previews or beta updates. One-handed mode, color correction, both of the things are available, and both of the things just look quite good. If you want to access this one-handed mode, you can access it from the home screen if you want to. To access it from the home screen, you simply need to swipe down from the bottom of the screen. If what you do with the normal one-handed mode, you can enable it in the quick settings panel. And that looks quite good and quite useful maybe for some of the users. Another new thing or new change which we have in Android 13 developer preview one is this new media player basically. Media player we have no shuffle buttons and like button. I'm talking about the Spotify things. If you use Spotify for your music, I sometimes use Spotify a lot. And this is a new volume panel in this media player settings. And this looks quite good in my thinking. This is one of the best ones out there. And yes, it's good that in this thing Android 13 developer preview, they have implemented this new thing some things are quite good not a major ui revamped like from android 11 to android 12 maybe in android 14 we will see a new major ui revamped in 200 versions the ui seems to be same in case of google it also allows you to add some apps in your guest mode. If you have guest mode enabled, if you move on to guest mode, you have the install available apps, which is a new change, which is a new thing available in Android 13 developer preview one. As if you got to know in Android 12 beta to in Android 12 developer preview first update when it was arrived maybe one year ago, the things were same. No Easter egg, nothing new, but only one to few changes and almost same thing is here with this Android 13 developer preview one. In the upcoming updates, we might see some new changes, some new extra implementations of features or a lot more things. So if you're excited, I have a uh, things available that how the things will be available for you. Another change which we have in Android 13 developer preview first version is in the three button navigation or the gesture navigations. If you move on to three button navigation, if I hold at this normal center button, you'll be able to see no Google Assistant. You can disable this thing as this is very, very useful for some of the users like me who don't use Google Assistant much on their devices. If you move on to the gestures and system navigation, if you move on to the settings option of three button navigation, you have the option to enable this Google Assistant. You have the option to disable this Google Assistant this is absolutely useful at least in under 13 developer preview first version they have implemented very very good things in my opinion i think android 13 has a better ui better feelings but of course android 12 and android 13 has no major ui changes it also includes one more new thing if you move on to the vibration and haptic section if you're able to see vibration and haptics are unavailable because phone is set to silent yes if your device is on silent mode then will be not be able to use the vibration and haptic feedback this is absolutely good in my opinion i the features which i got so far in android 13 developer p1 was almost all these features are just working great and good looking and in my opinion these are absolutely great hoping for some good features in the other updates developer preview 2 beta 1 beta 2 maybe soon in the upcoming months so stay tuned for those these are some things which you get in the android 13 developer preview first update all things apart in android 13 the developer preview one you have all the android 12 l features for you some users were saying that android 12 l is nothing but only with animations and yes the animations are improved in android 13 same kind of things like android version 12 l version so yes if you know android 12 l and if you want to check out some android 12 l videos make sure to check out those available on my channel already you can see the smooth animations the animations are absolutely smooth very simple thing and some things which i just want to let you know about this android 13 developer preview i've already shown you if you like this video don't forget to like and share this i will see you in the next video goodbye
over the edge Feel like I'm floating through 